Okay, it's on. I would say this for Breaking Lane in 183. My name is Iris. That's my AKA. You will not know my real name. With that, I don't know you. But for the simple fact that people do what they do out here by picking up trash, throwing things away, keeping the block clean, keeping those who are on dope out of here. The truth be me. You're staring at him. Mm -hmm. This will be my witness to testify. Therefore, I will say this in one thing. It's a poem that I wanted everybody to hear. I will say it only one time. One time only. You may think that we're all druggies and drunks. You may think that we're all slums and slumps. That's what the only problem is, is you can't figure out your own. That's the problem why you just roll on your own. You gotta be alone to understand some things. You gotta be alone to understand the simple things. The simple things be the bird that flies. That bird that flies can sometimes can bust your eye. Damn, look out now, there's a fine girl. Literally, there's a fine girl. That's what I said. Peace out. Is real. <laughs> that's, that's the way. <laughs> No, that's my word. I felt man. that though, dude. I felt that. You, you got all that on video on the, yeah. the what, voice. What's it look like, man? What? I just want to see that. You're recording. Hey, all right, all right. Man, you got a big head. <laughs> I know. All right, now my question is to you. What made you want to get into this industry of helping out people like us? I've lived in Austin 20 years. I've seen the police pull some real shit in 20 years. They have gone after my friends. I'm in a 12-step recovery group from substance abuse myself, so I know a lot of people that were in on that. You know, some people that were investigated by the police that probably were bringing in drugs before, before they stopped. And it's like they still come after them anyway, even when they stop. So what you're doing right now is you're showing, you're showing your heart, you're showing spirit and love, basically. Yeah. I want the police to obey, obey the same law that they enforce. Yeah. And I'm starting to see, I'm a taxpayer. The money that I pay for them to do this, we've been, Hi. Hi. the money's wasted. I don't support what my money's going to. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm distracted. I'm distracted. I mean, so it's all right, I would distract you. God. I, I feel you on that one, Irish. Yeah, that was good, that was funny. Okay, yeah, okay, just, just scratch that whenever you go to the city of, you know. <laughs> He'd be like, well, what'd he do? He'd be like, oh, he fell. You know? <laughs> <laughs> he just happened to get a great view. <laughs> he fell under a running Damn. door. <laughs> oh, wait. Dude, I mean, come on, man. Look at that, man. Dude, just come Freddy. on. Hey. That is what we are truly about. Is that the simple <laughs> fact we are still human beings and men that beat with hearts. And sometimes, let me speak the truth. This is the problem with us. I'm going to talk truly. I'm going to act like this a mic. It's the truth. You want to know why the problem is? Why it is some of the officers might almost get their asses kicked? It's because it's a simple though. fact. You really just got your mouth in it. <laughs> I don't care. I'm going to put it there. But you know what it truly is? It's a simple fact. They have no respect, no integrity, no morals about themselves whenever they come across a man much like myself or that man right there. They have no morals. Maybe even this man. I try to have some. And the problem is, perfect, but I try. you can only push a man so far. You can push a woman real hard. They'll take, they'll take a beating, but you're only a freaking victim the first time. But they'll take a beating because they have that strong heart they're trying to help. But a man, he's built different. A man, he can only take maybe one, maybe two, two at the most, before he snaps, pow, snap, crack, a pop. It's like the cheer was going off when you pour the milk on him. Just can't do that. You're pushing a man to his end. And when a man comes to his end, he comes into an adventure that his fists become his best friend. And maybe something worse if you push them harder. By the way, I'm Irish. <laughs> and I'm saying that. Breaking lane, 183. I'm CB. Let's stop.
Is it recording? Yeah. It's the shit that pisses me off. How in the hell are you gonna have 100,000 people a day to cross the road, don't get jaywalking tickets? But I get one because I'm stereotyped. Two, how are you gonna have 100,000 people a day to run red lights, cause accidents, but I'm the one getting messing with? And the other self, how the hell are you gonna fucking have this? I was rolled up on and disrespected and told by a cop. And I'm saying it clearly. APD, let me pick my nose again. <laughs> APD, yeah. Told that I was not a taxpayer. That's why he hated me. And yeah, I said that. That's why he hated me, because I was not a taxpayer. Let me tell you something. I don't go on a motherfucking McDonald's and pay 99 cents for a burger. I pay a dollar eight. Every time I fucking buy a beer, I pay fucking 280. I'm paying taxes every day. Get the look. Get the look from the witness. Uh, let me see. Hold up. Come back. Oh, how is it that? How is it that, how is it that, how is it that APD can roll up in here in the subway and get a sub, a 12 inch fat ass sub for two dollars, and I have to pay nine. Tell me I don't pay taxes. You got a full time job and I don't. Means you're a taxpayer and I'm not. Fuck you. Government still like, taking taxes out of my Every chance. time I buy something, and I go buy something, I pay taxes. Every fucking time. Excuse my language. God forgive me. Every freaking time, I pay taxes. And that's all I got to say. I'm gonna wash my hands on that. Like, that's it. Yep. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. There was a cop asked me one time by the name of Austin Bowman. Yeah, really do. Yeah. Do race the he asked me how I got from the U turn to the bridge without a crosswalk. Yeah, my question back was, I said, why don't you stop at those who run through the crosswalk at red lights on every freaking nine seconds? To where people are almost hit trying to use the crosswalk as your law speaks. You know what his question was to me? I don't care. He says, I just want to know how your uneducated asses got across this area without using a crosswalk. But you know what I told them people? I told them like this. First, I snorted a line of coke. Then I hit some shots. Then I hit another line of coke. Then I busted a line. Not that I even do that because I'm clean. I said, then I did what I've been doing since I was four years old. I looked both fucking ways and I crossed the road. That's the end of that one. I said, shit, he should have figured it out, but he didn't. You know, that's your fucking taxpayer's money going to waste. Oh, by the way, if you want to see something in China over there, you see it over there, the bus stop? Oh, yeah. You got a good picture of it? Hey, bro, hey. That's okay. Don't worry. I got it. I got it. You got it? Yeah. yeah. Good shot of that. I want, hey, damn, we're not done, man. I'm going to take it down. I'm going to show you some spots, dude. Because uh, I've got some other people that work at the businesses that want to talk to you, dude. But there'll be more times out here, I'll tell you that. Yep. Oh, let me back it off, though. You know, another freaking thing. By the way, that bus stop you were just looking at, your taxpayers' money not only is going to pay for our tickets that are ridiculous that we get, too, for our meals and our cot that we get while we're in jail, while watching cable TV. On three, just one wastes his time and sits right there to watch a freaking bus stop. Look into my eyes and tell me I don't know. My name is Irish. It's been my block for eight fucking years. I am the king of this block. This is my block. That Metro security that accuses y'all of trespassing, you sit on the bench, he's trespassing in Randall's parking lot. You heard that? <laughs> He's trespassing in Randall's parking lot. To accuse you of trespassing on the to bench. To accuse me of trespassing, sitting at a freaking public bus bench. Think about it. That's where your taxpayer money is going. Think about it. You pay for my ticket every time. 
Every time. All you can do is, the best thing you can do is, when I shoot the deuce and I smile at you and I wave at you, like some of these people around here know me, it's just go, hey, there's a few bucks. You won't see me anymore. There you go. God bless you. I got that. Thank you. I got that 40 a week job. I want to see that, man. That's what I got to see. I got to see that. I still toss money to people on the streets. I'm like, you know what? For the grace of God, I'll get it transferred to, you know, off the camera. Wait, I'll be able to show you on this. Okay. I got it now. Okay. Now you're. Now it's recording. I don't know, man. I can be totally wrong about that. Also, one other thing I want to say. I don't know shit. I'm gonna say this one thing and I wanna say it clearly. You got a joint? <laughs> I've been in the game for a long time. And I've seen a lot of people die. There's some things I might not just have to say right about now, but I will. I don't care because I know where I am. I'm gonna try to find it. Right now. Hey, you know Take your lighter? Yeah, I think you did. Oh uh, wait, I got it. Sorry about that, folks. <laughs> Take two. Truth be told, there was one time here years ago. This man tried to push a huge shipment through of heroin. He didn't make it, didn't succeed. About my head. You'll understand what I mean later on. Just was not my choice. I love the situation is, is that I tell you, to stay in school and get a freaking education. Do not end up like this. Not like me. Not what I've had to live through. Don't end up on the north side of Austin with a huge ship of heroin coming in. <laughs> Basically. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I had to call that. <laughs> One last trip state for this. Every morning when you wake up, I always remember the most important thing. It makes you happy. Number two. I always remember the most important thing that made you sad. You combine them together and choose which one and that's how your day will turn out. That's all I can say as far as my advice, but I will give this one more. A great woman who I've been around for a while. Always stay steady. Never fuck around. You always gotta be around. And for those that don't know what I mean, you'll find out. That's my rhyme to you. You've heard me now. I gotta hear you.